Hi, my name is Vince Sheehan and today I'd like to talk about Scotland, a very short introduction by Rab Houston. And I'd like to go through each of the chapters, just exploring what they're about and some of the themes that crop up in this short book. Now, of course, Scotland is in the news a lot in recent years in the UK uh, because of the significant number of Scots who want to uh, leave the uh, United Kingdom. And uh, I guess reading a book about Scotland is uh, is interesting, you know, to find out about some of the motivations and uh, deep-seated beliefs of Scottish people regarding, uh, uh, regarding their country and its place within the Union and indeed the wider world. This book was first published in 2008 and Rab Houston is a historian at the University of St Andrews um, and is Professor of Modern History, specialising in British social history. Um, and indeed he's a uh, rabbit, of course, is a, a Scottish nickname for Robert, so it's quite interesting that he keeps that on, uh, on the cover of the book. So this short book, Whistlestop Tour of um, the Subject, after a short introduction, um, we begin with uh, the history of the Scottish people, the formation of the country, um, and also something about its government and how it's different, its differences uh, with England and Wales in particular. And uh, this is a really important chapter, helps you ground yourself in... Uh, some of the basic milestones in Scottish history, um, such as the, including infamously Edward I's uh, forays into Scotland, um, James I and James VI of Scotland, of course, becoming the first monarch over England and Scotland. Then the second subject is all about the church in Scotland. How Scotland's brand, if you like, of Reformed Christianity is so radically different from Protestantism in England, with the Kirk and the um, the, the Church of Scotland uh, being Calvinist in orientation, and um, but also a bit about pre-Reformation Scottish beliefs as well. Um, a very interesting chapter um, and then uh, there's a chapter about Scottish education we move on to uh, so Scottish society past and present the Scottish economy and then Scotland's population how it's um, grown and waned in the different periods of history how um, different uh, Cities have grown in prominence um, at different times, including Glasgow at the, uh, the Industrial Revolution. Um, and then there's a chapter at the end of the book about Scottish culture, how um, Scotland has provided many uh, great contributions to the literature um, and the arts more generally as well, um, as well as, of course, uh, philosophy, economics, and, uh, and sport. Um, and there's a, a kind of rounding up, I guess, at the end, a, a conclusion at the end of this book, um, summing up something of Scotland's place in the British Isles, its relationships with the, with England, Wales, uh, Northern Ireland, and um, something of a. Uh, a final uh, stress on the, I guess, the tension in Scotland between being a proud country, um, which has traditionally been treated terribly by England, uh, but also the benefits of being in the Union as well. There's that kind of tension, which of course is uh, echoed today in the, in the popularity of the SNP. So what did I think of this book? Um, yeah, so really, I mean, it's like all of these very short introductions, it's worth reading. Um, I did find it quite difficult to read compared to some of the others, and I think 
some of that is down to the way Rab Houston tends to uh, the books it tends to fit in so much in each chapter it's almost like reading fact after fact and uh, I was perhaps hoping perhaps slightly less uh, content with perhaps a bit more focus on particular areas um, it is a bit of a dry read this very short introduction having said that though I mean it's you know really fascinating um, to have um, much of Scottish history um, and, and particularly the chapter about the church um, spelled out in such a clear way so um, I certainly learnt a lot from this book and it's a very relevant book for people today particularly in the UK and um, please check out the slideshow um, afterwards just outlining what the chapters are about and the themes that crop up in this book and thanks for watching bye